name is Alison Ritchie and I run a company called Polar Ice Limited. We manufacture dry ice products and our head office is based in Port Harrington County, Offaly. Polar Ice is a well-established leading manufacturer of dry ice products and we supply over 1,000 customers throughout Ireland and Northern Ireland. Now, if you haven't come across dry ice before, it's simply solid carbon dioxide. It's extremely cold, it's minus 78 degrees Celsius, and it sublimates, which means that it goes directly from being a solid into a gas. Now, these properties make it an extremely valuable refrigerant for many different industries. Our customers range from airlines, pharmaceutical companies, hospitals, research laboratories, right through to freeze branding um, and film and theatrical special effects. I think I always wanted to work for myself. Um, I started off pretty early at 22 years old, um, but I did work a number of jobs right through college for some really great companies. Um, they were enjoyable, they were interesting. However, I really missed getting to see the bigger picture. Um, I found it frustrating that no matter what I did or how hard I worked, I never got to see the end result and I really missed that and I could never really visualize myself doing anything else so when the opportunity came up to work for myself I just jumped at it. Well Polar Ice is a family run business and up until the point where I joined the company um, the company manufactured wet ice but imported the dry ice product from the UK. The main challenges involved at this point in time were setting up a manufacturing plant just for dry ice to focus completely on this product and drop the wet ice product. That led to two big changes. Um, we had to get funding, quite substantial funding. The whole plant was going to cost a two million euros. And uh, the one big issue there was that banks didn't know that much about dry ice, nor really care that much about it. And certainly um, had a bit of an issue with financing such specialized equipment. Um, so we had to come up with another way of funding the entire business. Um, in the end, we, we funded most of the business ourselves, but we also um, went along the lines of private investment and BES schemes. Well, I think we're pretty unique in that Polar Ice is the only dedicated dry ice manufacturing company in Ireland. We invested in some really exceptional equipment, which makes what is traditionally um, a very inefficient process into a very efficient process manufacturing the dry ice. Um, it's capturing the waste CO2, recycling it and putting it back into the manufacturing process. Another key element of our business is that we operate our own distribution. Um, as you can see, we've been, we use um, highly specialised containers and operating our own distribution means that we've got a better utilisation of the assets and better control for the customer. Well, for me, I would have to say the best thing about running my own business would be the satisfaction that it brings the rewards that it reaps and the flexibility it lends to family life. The most challenging aspect of running my own business is certainly for me time. It's not having enough time to get everything done the way I want it done. It's not having enough time to uh, be with friends as well. Um, not enough time to wear all the hats that need to be worn during the day. And maybe at this point I should really try and delegate a little bit more. If I was give, to give advice to any woman setting up her own business, I would say choose your business partners very carefully. Choose them for their strengths, their talents, um, what they can bring to the business. Make sure that they are as passionate about the business as you are and openly discuss different scenarios, the good scenarios, the bad case scenarios, and try and come up with an exit strategy as well. It may seem like a long time off, but it's good to talk about things at the very start. And don't choose the husband just because he's convenient. We have a very exciting future ahead of us. We have emerged from this horrendous recession a much stronger, leaner and way more focused company. We expanded into Northern Ireland earlier this year and we'll be doing the same in Cork with our new premises in Little Island. And we look forward to expanding our workforce in 2011.